with the success of shale gas production in the United States and with Australia currently considering its energy future, it seems timely to look at the future of shale gas in Australia. And joining me to discuss the opportunities and challenges is Fiona Melville, who's a partner at Middleton's. Fiona, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Well, Fiona, firstly to the United States, mm -hmm. would you say that the revolution in shale gas production has been an overnight success story? No, um, up until the 80s and 90s it was fairly slow, mm. but certainly this last decade has seen really rapid expansion. So I think in 2010 it was about 25% of all gas production was shale gas, mm -hmm. and then two years later that had risen to 30%. And now um, America is expected to be a net exporter of shale gas, so huge expansion. Well, they talk about directional drilling. Why was this such a turning point? The shale gas tends to be much deeper than other forms of gas mm -hmm. and it lies in quite a wide deposit um, and in order to really get the gas to move through the well you need to horizontally drill so that you can then fracture and sort of create fissures in the mm -hmm. sandstone shale and that then allows the gas to sort of flow through horizontally into a well and then vertically up. If you only relied on vertical drilling, then you're not really capturing that vast sort of horizontal area. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really what has made um, the US sort of have this mini boom with um, shale gas because of this directional drilling. And just looking at, at the industry itself, do you think it's an area where government support is required? Well, certainly in the US, um, there were tax concessions. Mm -hmm. The UK introduced tax concessions in t 2003 and they then had something like 97 licenses for exploring. So, I mean, those countries felt they had to kickstart the industries. Um, whether or not the same is going to be true in Australia will be part of that reform process, I suspect. Well, just looking at Australia, of course, we've just seen the energy white paper released with gas having top billing. Mm -hmm. What do you think this will mean for shale gas? And is the government committing to do anything to bring forward the commercialisation of shale gas in Australia? Well, the th sorts of things that are happening from the point of view of coal seam gas, so there's going to be a national framework to try to assist different states with things like consistent water management programs and to try to allay community concerns. Mm -hmm. So to the extent that those things are being developed for coal seam gas, then they will also could be used for shale gas deposits. Yep. Um, and there's also a productivity commission which is being set up starting this year to specifically look at are there barriers for exploration and commercialization. So um, those things weren't actually so targeted with shale in mind, mm -hmm. but they can apply and will assist, I'm sure, shale production as well as coal sink production. Well, looking still at Australia, what do you see as some of the challenges for shale gas production? From a practical point of view, um, there are not that many drills around. Mm -hmm. And the cost of drilling in Australia is expected to be much higher than, say, in Texas, because in Texas they have many more wells. So the estimate is something like two to three million for a well in Texas compared to seven to ten million in Australia. Okay. So that's a sort of practical issue. Um, then, of course, some of the locational issues in that some of the reserves that have been announced are fairly close to existing infrastructure, mm -hmm. which, of course, means it's m more economic. But for those that are much further away, then just the geographical size of Australia is going to make that a problem. Well, I'd like to, to focus on, on the issue of water. Mm -hmm. Obviously, shale gas extraction uh, is very water intensive. Isn't that a concern for somewhere like Australia? It is water intensive in the initial stages of the development because mm -hmm. in order to create these um, fracking, which is causing the fissures in the rock, you need to send water down. Um, and that does use a lot of water. But the um, industry itself is now starting to find ways of reusing the water mm -hmm. and treating waste water so it can be reused. Mm. And there's also been some fracking that's taken place where they've not used water at all and they've used petroleum gels. So it's moving along from a technological point of view. Yeah. Um, and once the well has been sort of fracked and opened and is producing gas, then one commentator said it actually uses less water than having um, water in your golf course. So from that point of view, um, it's just going to be very water intense in the initial stages. And I guess the final question, uh, looking at shale gas uh, and all the other gas reserves in Australia, why should we 
develop shale gas when we have some 819 trillion cubic feet of natural gas in the more conventional reserves? Well, we do, and obviously that's a great thing. Mm. But there's something like perhaps 400 million trillion, sorry, 400 um, trillion cubic feet of shale gas as well. So that's giving us, if you like, even more resources to have a look at. And then it will simply come down to the um, e economics of it. So it might be that in some areas it is actually more um, economic to develop shale, whereas mm. in other areas it'll be more conventional gas. So it's really just giving us a lot more choice about where we develop. And it might also mean that you can combine different projects and therefore use the same infrastructure to service several projects so that a project wouldn't be economic on its own, but say tied in with a shale gas project, it might make that economy of scale. Mm -hmm. So Australia's reckoned to have the fifth largest deposits of shale gas. So going forward in the future, we've obviously got um, a lot of opportunity. Yeah, and certainly something for us to consider. Yep. Fiona, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.